Um, these are the supplies needed for the testosterone pellet insertion in a female patient. We use 1% lidocaine with epinephrine. We also use sodium bicarbonate and that prevents the stinging as you inject with the lidocaine. The first thing you're going to want to do is take your alcohol wipe and clean off the tops of the lidocaine and sodium bicarb. You then take the disposable pellet kit Remove it from the package and place it behind the patient. Okay, zoom in. Your landmarks are going to be the anterior iliac spine, the upper gluteal crease, and you're going to insert the pellet in a line between those two areas. The first thing I'm going to do is open the disposable trocar kit, being careful to maintain a sterile field. I then take my pellets and empty them into the tray before I put on my sterile gloves. When you open the implants, you want to make sure your thumb avoids that line where the pellet uh, vial breaks. I do this without an assistant, so I place my dominant hand into the sterile glove. I then take the 10cc syringe, remove the top, and draw up two and a half to three cc's of lidocaine with epinephrine. Of course, if someone's sensitive to epinephrine, you can use plain lidocaine. Again, I draw up two and a half to three cc's of sodium bicarbonate, and again, this prevents the stinging from the injection. Once that's done, I place the other glove on my hand. Okay. Keep it there. I then take my lidocaine and I prep approximately a 10 centimeter area using concentric circles. The center of my field is where the incision is going to be. I then take the sterile fenestrated drape and place it over the prepped area. The patient may feel a little needle stick. You want to see that wheel, that raised wheel, okay? The area you're anesthetizing is about just under the skin, five millimeters deep and about five to eight millimeters long. You then take the number 11 blade. You make a small incision about five millimeters long and about five millimeters deep. You then take the cannula and the sharp trocar. Don't move. Then place the sharp trocar in the cannula. You direct it about five millimeters deep and parallel to the skin. Now one thing, you want to keep that pressure against the sharp trocar so that doesn't come out. You then replace the sharp trocar with the blunt trocar. You then take your testosterone pellets and place them into the cannula. You then advance the uh, pellets into the subcutaneous tissue, holding pressure on the cannula and pressing forward with the blunt trocar. You remove the entire unit and hold pressure. You continue to hold pressure on the incision. 
using the alcohol wipe found in the kit, you clean off the skin. You then take your Steri strips as you continue to hold pressure. I then make a small pressure dressing, place it over the little incision, followed by gauze, and then ask the patient to hold pressure for five minutes. And that's it.